Cause one thing I'm about it, it's that time. It's that time. It is that time. It is that time to give y'all this good tea. What is up, you guys? My name is Bryson. For those of you who are new, for those of you returning back to the channel, what's popping? What's good? It's good to see you guys again. I'm coming with nothing but good tea good positivity nothing but love towards you guys today is friday march 11th i'm just leaving my job i'm just leaving work you gonna be nice thank you friend and yeah i'm feeling good i passed my first actual semester a freaking nursing school y'all i passed i'm done i took my finals it is set in stone i walked out with two three all b's no i'm lying i'm sorry two b's and an a got an a in nutrition b in farm and a b in skills so i'm feeling great um, it was very, very hectic. Last day was yesterday for our final and form. That was the last test we had to take. I made a hundred on like my skills test and on my um nutrition test. Those were so easy. But that farm test, y'all, oh my god, y'all, like it took us out, y'all. Like it took us out emotionally, and like it took a couple of people out of the program, period. But, um, I ain't gonna lie, y'all. I failed it. <laughs> that is sad. I failed the test, y'all. I failed. And y'all know I told y'all I'm gonna keep it a, a, a whole buck with y'all. I'm gonna keep it a thou. But I failed the test. I ain't feeling horribly. Like, you gotta make an 80. An 80 is considered passing. And I made a 75. But I didn't study like I normally would because at that point, I just, my mind was just all over the place. And I gotta do better this next go round. But, Y'all, when I tell y'all, my ass sat there and failed that test, and that was my final. But that's the good thing, and that's a good tactic to have. Make sure you're doing every work that you are doing in the class. If they give you extra work, do the work. If it's for points, do it. Be there in class on time. Make connections with your teachers. You know what I'm saying? Let's show them that you are trying because you never know how they'll be able to help you. You never know. Make sure you try to score the hardest or the highest of any of your tests, especially when your exams weigh more than any other things because that's really what it is. Um, but when you're doing those things, that's what makes it easier for you. You know what I'm saying? Like my grade, originally I was at a 96A for pharmacology. So when I made that grade on my final, the 75, it dropped it down to a 91, which ended up making it a B because we're on a six point grading scale. But um, that's the type of situation to where at least if you at the end and it's like, well, damn, even if I completely bomb this damn test, I'm still going to pass. You get what I'm saying? So that's a really good tactic to have. Um, start off strong, start off, stay strong as long as you can. And so that way, you know, you want to aim for the best for the end. But if it just don't work out how it just don't work out, then at least you know you're good and you're going to the next part. So that's been what's been working for me. And I'm going to keep going with it. I'm going to keep damn going with it, y'all, because that's what that's just what we're going to do. Um, I am feeling great, y'all. When I get home, I am going to finally do my haul because I got all my stuff. I just don't have my jacket yet, which just sucks. But whatever. Um, so I gotta get my jacket. But I have my scrubs and everything. I can show you my scrubs. I really couldn't show you my jacket anyway. Um, Cause it has this cool logo on it. So I couldn't really show you I want to. Baby, you could turn, my baby. You got a whole Denali. Anyway, I'm sorry. 
but um yeah so i'm gonna do a haul for you guys and we're gonna go from there and i'm just so excited y'all like next week we start a whole nother semester in seven weeks i did pharmaco i passed pharmacology with a b in seven weeks that is insane like i am so proud of myself so proud of myself so that's what i'm gonna do um i'm gonna get home i'm probably gonna change take a bath change and i'm gonna do this video and we're gonna see what all i got and see what all we're bringing to clinical with us and going from there all right y'all i'm gonna see y'all when i get home all right y'all we're back today is actually the next day but that's the last point it's still one video we can finna get into it okay so I have actually uh, quite a few things. I have everything pretty much that I need, except for, like I told y'all earlier, my jacket. But before we even really, really get to it, I just want to um, give this time out to let you guys know to like, comment, and subscribe to this channel because this is our channel. And now that you guys who are new have been introduced to me, go ahead and subscribe so that way we can build our channel up. The goal, of course, is to get to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the year, which I really think is possible, y'all, because of the fact that I am, like, one subscriber away from 200 subscribers. I am feeling hella good. Is it 200 subscribers or am I, like, pushing it? No, I think I got to 130. I don't know where I get 200 from. I think I had a dream or something. I don't know. Don't mind me. But we're on the road to 200 subscribers. I want to get to two, not 2,000. I mean, we get to 2,000, like, boom. <laughs> but 1K by the end of the year, I think that's completely doable. Um, and we're just going to get into it. So make sure you subscribe to my channel with peace and love. Let's get into it. All right. So today, I'm going to start off with, like, my little school supplies because I had to get some new stuff. Um, which I went to Walmart for that. Let me tell you something. They be talking about how they like Target. I love Target too, but Target is expensive. I ain't got the Target money right now. So, I went to Walmart. And I normally get a regular textbook. I mean, not textbook, a regular notebook. That'll normally hold me. Um, but I figured since it's med search, I might want to get a bigger one. Um, but yeah, for my classes that I'm taking, I am taking med surge one and IV therapy. So I'll be learning all about putting the IV in, hanging the bag up, using the um, pump and everything like that. That whole nine yards, right? So I'll be taking that and I also will be doing um, med surge one, like I just said. So I said I was just going to do something small for my IV therapy um, notebook. So I got this. Just to kind of write any notes that I need down. This was like 80 cents. What's 80 cents? A nice little laptop. I mean, notepad. And it's been holding me really, really well. Um, also, I got this one. I got a thicker one for med surge. Um, because I figured it's going to be so much information. I'm definitely going to want to write the information down. And so, that's what I wanted to do. So, I got this for med surge. Um, I also always get folders because whenever we get paper, I want to separate it. So I got these two little paper um, folders, you know, um, I might do IV therapy for this one, then mid search for this one or whichever one. So those are my folders and notepads. I needed some more pins. So, I, well, I got some more highlighters because the highlighters that I had, they were starting to turn like black whenever I use it because I've always, you know, highlight over my notes or whatever to distinguish what is what. So, I needed some new highlighters. So, I got those. These work really, really well. I really love these. I think what I'm going to do is, um, I'm reading a message. <laughs> it's always friend. I'm sorry. I was reading a message. But, um. Yeah, I think I might split it in half, bring two, leave two in my little bag for school, and then two in my clinical bag. We'll see, I don't know. And then I have, why did I only get one? I should've got two of these. 
these are the pens that I use for school. These pens are phenomenal. Like, they... I don't know. They have a good hold on them. I have really good control when I'm writing. And I can really, really write to the best of my ability when I write this. Especially when I'm writing a lot. And I think I will be a lot longer of a hold if I wasn't writing so much. I write a lot, y'all. Like, that's the best way that I retain is by writing it out. So... I use my pens a lot, and I ran out, like, halfway through this previous semester, so, I'm glad I got these, I need to get another pack, though, because I'm not splitting two inches, that's not gonna work, I need another pack of these, so I'm gonna go back and get another pack, I'm gonna put this in my class, though, my class pens, and then, um, get another pack for clinical, and then I have some Sharpies, because you never know if you need Sharpies for the clinical. Um, I'm gonna probably help two and then give one to my classmates. So if they need it, you know, give them. You come in free. So, yeah. All of these came from Walmart. There's a quick little one, two that I want to do. So, there's that. And then now we can get into. I'm gonna get into my scrubs for clinical. That's what I'm gonna do. So, I'm not gonna get into my scrubs yet. I am gonna get into the textbooks because I got my message textbook. So, this is the textbook that we're gonna have to have Medical Surgical Nursing Introductory. I am so nervous, y'all. Like, this crap is like ill. It's like full of freaking words. I'm so scared. I'm so scared, y'all. But we gonna do it. I'm excited. Okay, y'all don't mind me. I'm sorry. Anyway, so yeah, this is my med search book. This is probably gonna what's gonna give me. I hope it don't give me hell. I hope that I end up loving this class and that I'm able to like really um, just do well and just succeed like with no e with plenty of ease actually um but yeah so this is my message book this will hold me for the next three message classes and yeah so make sure i put that back up later so now i'm gonna get into my scrubs so with my scrubs We have to wear a charcoal gray in which this is the brand that I use. It's wrinkled now, of course, but you know, I'm going to be looking better than this. These are my pants. This is the Edge brand. My friend Jonathan, he, like we were going to go get our jacket together because we wanted to go order it and then see what the regular scrubs look like. The school recommended um, the Skechers brand, but she was saying like we could get a different brand long as it's a charcoal gray and you know it's good so i was like okay cool whatever so i was like well if i'm gonna be on the scrubs you know y'all know how i feel about the scrubs y'all know how i feel about the scrubs with that whole world blue crap so i wanted something where i feel comfortable in i will feel great in i will feel sexy so i got these um my jonathan he picked them out um, before we even, uh, before I even met him there, I was like, these are cute, and so I tried them on, and yeah, we both have this brand, so, I really like them, they fit really, really well on me, and so, we decided to pick these, um, I need to see, this is the top, I really love the top, I'm sorry that it's so wrinkled, well, you know, it's been in the bag, so, stretchy, really, really stretchy, got a lot of pockets, which is good. Has a little badge holder right here. And it fits me really well. And I really like it. Um, it comes, our jackets are white. Which I got on my white lab coat, but it's with healing hands. So it fits me really, really well. I love it. Um, I got two pairs of these scrubs. So there's that. And then my jacket, of course, has the 
logged off my school on it. That's why I'm waiting for it to come so they could get it done. It's supposed to be Monday, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, then I have these shoes. I'm going to show you the undershirt. I'm going to show you the undershirt. I bought some undershirts for school. Well, one for school. So it came with a black, a navy, and a blue. So this is the black long sleeve because I have a tattoo right here and your tattoos must be covered. So there's that. So, um, yeah, I have a black one. I'll just wear this for work. A blue one, y'all love these type of undershirts. So a blue one or a gray one. I think it's like gray. I don't know. Wear that for work. And then this white. This white is the one that I really, really wanted right here, right here, right here, right here. Boom. And I'll wear this one for clinical. And so, um, yeah. I was saying like on a Saturday, cause you know my clinicals are Saturday and Sundays now. And so like a Saturday I'll wear my jacket or a Sunday I'll wear my jacket and the other day I'll wear this long sleeve. So do that like that. Um, yeah. Yeah. So there's that. I'm gonna put these up and then I'm gonna show you guys my shoes that I got. I'm gonna wait until y'all are here. These were about $20 for all three of these, I think. It was like $20 for all three. My scrubs, I got them on sale, like 20% off the scrubs and that ended up being like with my jacket to like 150 all together with the two scrubs and the jacket that was pretty dope my textbooks i got it from my school's bookstore that was 175 um all this stuff together was probably about 15 to 15 dollars for my school supplies but see these shoes y'all i went to nordstrom rack and we need all white leather shoes, closed toe shoes, and I ended up getting these. I think that these are pretty cute. They fit my shoe, my foot really well. They have some really good soles in them. They're like Levi shoes. I mean, they're good. They were like $20, like $22, $24 with tax. You can't beat this. You literally cannot beat this. This is a cute little shoe to say it's all white it's leather like it's cute and i think it's gonna go really really well with my um uniform so i was like perfect this is perfect and urban actually found it in the store for me like we were in the store me him and jonathan but i don't know i get to the point to where i get agitated like really really bad if i can't find something that i want especially if i went in multiple stores and i just, I just be like don't worry about it i don't care anymore urban is more patient urban is way more patient than me by far so he was able to find it thank god for him i was over it but this shoe was no a lot yeah it was 18.73 and with tax, it was $20.59. So I paid $20 for these shoes. That's a steal. That is a steal. Because I thought I was going to have to pay like $60 or $80. I'm not lying. Because I was probably going to give me like some Reeboks or something. I don't know. So those are those. Now let's get into what you guys been looking forward to. The supplies. Let's get into the supplies. Okay. So I'm gonna actually start off with my stethoscope because I already, this is a stethoscope I've been had. And so I'm just gonna use it because I just don't really see the need of me buying a um, stethoscope. If I already got one that works pretty well, you know, for school. And so I'll give me a new one, of course, when I graduate, of course, because I really want the all black one. And I'm gonna get it. I already told my mom, I said, I want this as my graduation gift. But yeah, so this is my stethoscope. It is a ACD, ADC, ADC. I don't just say it. Yeah, 
I haven't used it too much because um, my job doesn't require me to use a stethoscope. So it's kind of just been hanging and hanging and looking cute and hanging. So I have that. And then you can have a stethoscope out, a stethoscope case. I just got all black. That's kind of the theme that I wanted to go for. I didn't want to do too much color. I was scared, y'all. Like, I was like, they were really, really strict about what we could wear and stuff like that. And, like, what we can bring. And we can't bring the whole, sh like, stuff in. So, we can't bring the whole nothing. So, I have, this is the inside of it. You got your little things. You can put, like, your pen lights or whatever. The scissor badges. Whatever, you know. Um, put the stethoscope in here. I just did all black simple because it was cheaper. I'm being practical and on a budget. So this was about $10 to $12, I think. This one I had got from my school. My, I got my stethoscope from my school when I graduated medical assistant school. So they gave me a stethoscope because it came with the tuition. So this is actually, I didn't pay for this. This is for free. It's pretty good. I, I, I see why people get um, Lipman, which I'm definitely going to get a Lipman when I finish, but I mean, it, it does its job. I may be able to hear what I need to hear. Um, also, I have my package. This was a nice little package, y'all. It has my bandage scissors um, and two pin lights. I said I was going to share the silver one because you know I'm going with the all black effect. Um, so I'm going to share my silver one with my classmate because she needs one so I was like you could just take this one it won't make sense to really you know buy one and I have two so yeah this is my bandage scissors right here and this is the pen light I was taking and I'll give this to my classmate it comes with four batteries for us to have I'll make sure to get like another pack of batteries in case it goes out so that way we'll have it on stock I'll put it in my book safe so that's that I really like this it's so cute like it's all black I just really like it. Anyway, next I have, I took it upon myself to get this because I was like, this is so freaking cute. And I really, really wanted one. Yeah. So here it is. The foldable clipboard with the cheat sheets. Of course, you guys seen this all around. So the gag about this they have a brand that is on Amazon. I mean, it's, it's everywhere. It's on the internet. It's called Whiteboard. I guess they were the ones who really are known for these. I don't know if they started it. I guess they did. Um, I didn't get that one because it was literally like $38 to $40 for the same thing as this. I got one that was an off-brand. It was like $20. Literally the same stuff, y'all. Literally the same stuff. And it looks really, really good. Like, it was kind of sketchy at first when I first um, like was looking on the pictures on Amazon, it looked a little sketchy. Like it wasn't gonna be as clean or clear as whiteboard. But I said, I'm gonna just get it because this, this, you can't really beat this way. So not the way, but you can't really beat this price for what it is. And I'm glad that I get, did get it because this is really, really nice. Like I really like it. I really like it. This is pretty dope. So, yeah, it has all your cheat sheets, um, for your, um, just everything, y'all. It got everything in it. Hell, it's really cute. I'm glad I got it. Do not regret it. It was like $22. 10 out of 10 recommend on Amazon. So, there's that. And then, I want to show y'all this before I show y'all my bag my bag is really cute and my bag was another sale like on Amazon this was like $8 I don't know if I'm gonna wear it though y'all because she said that we couldn't have no retractables for um clinical I don't know if she meant for med, med mental health or at all period but at the same time it says no messages but I mean I would Y'all let me know in the comment section. I got this right. This is, I thought this was just so cute and so inclusive. I really love this. Let me know in the comment section of A, if y'all like it, and B, do y'all think this is like a message, like a political, religious type message? Because she was saying we can't really have those type of things. 
Do y'all think that? Like, I just think, you know, be kind. That's really cute. I really like this. I don't know. Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. So, I got that. That's my little badge that I was going to do. If not, I'm going to just wear it to work. Because it's really cute. I really like it. Look at that. Last but not least, I got Leaf. <laughs> Wild person. Sad. Okay. Last but not least, I got my clinical bag you know i'm a sucker for books text i'm not really one for the shoulder thingy even though those are cute but these are i, I like books sex so i got a whole separate bag for my clinical bag it is a champion and y'all this was like 22 dollars on amazon now y'all know champion bags be like 40 dollars nike bags be 40 dollars adida bags be 40 dollars and this was 22 so i said this is this is what we're going to do so Got this, so excited. It has a big case, you know, a big area. Then it has a small area. And that is all that I need because I could put like a little pouch, pencil pouch in here, which I need to get a new pencil pouch. But I could put a pencil pouch in here and put like all my small stuff, like my hand sanitizers, all that good stuff. That stuff is in my car. But I put all that stuff in this small one and then put all my big stuff in here. I think I'm gonna get another folder for clinical. So any paperwork I have, I put it in that folder. And then, um, this is how thick it is, or thick it can get, but, um, and then get like a tablet or something. I got a little notepad too. I don't know where that notepad is. I don't know where that damn notepad is. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, I just wanted to differentiate because I did not want to, I don't know. But yeah, so I will be going from 6 p.m. to 6 a.m. in the morning. Well, 6 a.m. in the morning to 6 p.m. in the evening. Um, we're waiting right now to get the hear back about, you know, which students will be assigned to which places because it's two separate places. Being that it's more than 10 students in my class, they want to separate it. So that way, um, everyone gets a really good experience at clinical. They get that one-on-one, -on -one, if possible, experience with the teacher. So I'm like, okay, yeah, that's cool. You know, that's, that's fine. So I have all of this. I am super excited, y'all. Um, I'm ex excited to see what we're going to be doing, what we're going to be learning, how we're going to be going about it. Um, I still got some labeling to do. I said I was going to kind of review because she gave us the three chapters to kind of look at for med search. So I'm going to start with that and then go from there. Um, and yeah, I'm, I'm just excited, y'all. I'm so excited. I'm so anxious and nervous because I don't know what med search is going to be for all my nurses or uh, nursing students who are almost done or who have taken med search already. Make sure y'all let me know down in the comments uh, section below. What is med surge like? What is the best way to study med surge? Not how to study for nursing school. It's a clear difference. And that's another thing that we're gonna get into. But how to study for med surge? What is a good tactic that worked for you for med surge? What did you do specifically for med surge that worked for you? I don't need to know to find a quiet place. I know to find a quiet place. I know to set some time out to study. I know that. I know some people who don't know that. I'm not getting that hard on you. But don't. That's all nurse skill. I ain't even gonna go that hard. I'm not gonna do that. But if y'all could just let me know, please, like, well, how do y'all study for med search? I would really greatly appreciate it. Like, greatly appreciate it. So, I think that's all I have today. I don't want to get off the camera, but I think I'm going to get off the camera. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a thumbs up if you like it. If you don't, then let me know how I can improve. Um... Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel. Please, 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 please. I would greatly appreciate it. And yeah, I will see you guys next time with peace and love.